Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to a Punched Out Thursday to Die For, where we all use our punches and our dies to create our layout. And it's also still 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, round nine. And if you'd like to post your take on today's sketch, use hashtag 30DSCBL9 in Instagram, or just post it in the Facebook group. And this is a sketch for today. It's by Dolly, who is Stampin' on the Go here on YouTube. And I totally failed on this. I had my little tiny picture of it and in black and white, and I looked at it, and I thought, it was mixed media. Dolly loves mixed media, so I thought, oh, it's mixed media. And that's what I ended up using. Then while I was editing the video, I decided maybe it was torn paper. So, yeah, I failed there. I'm showing all the dies that I plan on using, and that red one is from Ella Connor here on YouTube. She blessed me with a bunch of dies. And then that last one is Tim Holtz, and that's the tree ring die and embossing folder. They come together. I am doing some watercoloring on here, and I decided to use the packaging just to get more on there more quickly. And I also sprayed it before I started with water and then I gave it some more spray and I think I give it even more after that but I'm trying to get it to flow more smoothly on my paper and it is watercolor paper so even though you've seen it kind of bubble up really quick when it got wet because it is watercolor paper it will end up a whole lot flatter at the end I am just filling in this area with green y'all know green's my favorite color anyway but the photo that I'm scrapping is of Hope, and she is outside, so green worked. And there's that little tree. It was on the, it was the one that was the red dye from Ella. And I cut it out in a light brown, and I am using that stippling brush thingy <laughs> to uh, put some black soot on there. But I planned on inking it with that tea dye like I'm doing on the tree ring. It's a good thing I remembered on the tree ring. It would have been really kind of funny looking if I hadn't. And I didn't notice I didn't ink it until I was editing the video and looking at the layout. So the edges of my tree are not inked and how I wish they were. It is really bugging me, but I can't figure out a way to get it up and get it inked. So it's just gonna stay that way. I am adding the tea dye to these little branches, and they are from, it's Autumn Leaves, I think it's what it's called, it's that Sizzlets one, there was two of them, one is Garden Greenery, and the other one was the Autumn Leaf, and they have some branches and a couple of acorns with it, and some more Autumn looking leaves. These flowers are from the Spellbinders dye. It is the floral wreath one, and these are the three smallest flowers. It has six on there, but I'm just using the three smallest. And I decided to make the centers of these black, and I used my one eighth inch punch for the centers of the flowers. Also inking the edges of them with Lagoon from Close to My Heart. And there's my picture of Hope. She looks so cute. They were sightseeing. It was like a day trip thing for them, and they went up to Markham Springs, and she got her photo taken, and she looks so cute there. The title is from Tim Holtz, and it's either Adventure or Travels, the name of it. It is discontinued, but I ran across it in my dies the other day, and I think this is my third time using it now. I used to use it all the time, but you know how it is. You use something and then it gets set aside and you use other things. <laughs> and then you find it again. You think, oh, I got to use it. So you might see it a little bit more. The garden greenery is most of these leaves. There's that one little branch that I showed at the beginning that I do not know what it came with. I'm sure it came with a set of dice. I am pretty sure it didn't come by itself, but I just cannot remember. I put all my flowers and greenery in the same little section, 
and some of them are on a die and this one I'm on a die on a magnetic sheet and this one was too but instead of pulling the whole thing out I just pulled the die out and I cut them out the other day while doing a different layout and these are left over from that day and I did not use that one on that layout but I am using it on this one but while I'm putting all these leaves on my layout oh and I did put my photo to the right hand side just a little bit because I knew I was going to make the left hand side at the bottom a little more heavy but anyway I got sidetracked there if you look down there below you'll see the links to everybody that's doing a punched out Thursday to die for and you will also see the links for everybody that's doing Christie's beautiful life 30 days of sketches on that list of people it, they may or not may not be doing a layout today, but you will find some layouts in their channel feed that are for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. I am just gluing these in here and tucking, and I'm not putting any foam tape on them right now. But before you see the photos, I will cut little teeny tiny pieces <laughs> to put underneath leaves here and there so there will be some more dimension on the layout by the time it's done oh and my goodness <clears throat> after I finish the layout before I take the photos well I had sprinkled some of the bookworm Mr. Huey's bookworm on there and I felt of it and checked it and then went ahead and added another branch of leaves on the layout and everything I didn't come up with any green on my fingers so I thought it was dry so right after I finished the layout I thought I'd do some journaling on the back of the layout oh my goodness I turned it back over and all those little spots I mean all of them I don't think there was a single one that wasn't streaked and I mean they, not just a little bit but like an inch or two. Oh, I thought it's ruined my my whole layout is ruined but then I pulled out my mono sand eraser and erased and erased and erased and erased well technically it since it is a sand eraser it takes off the top layer of the paper and so you might notice a little bit of smudging on the little splatters but you don't see the streaks no more well mostly you don't see the streaks no more because I sanded them all off a mess thank goodness for that mono sand eraser so if y'all don't have one get one I use mine quite a bit it kind of got worn down today though it definitely looks different it was bef before it was always just a little bit of the time today I really used it but there's the bookworm that's the culprit yeah it's my favorite <laughs> today I was thinking oh my goodness with it but um, yeah <laughs> the, I'm just gonna spr sprinkle sprinkle it around there <laughs> and they are pretty small sprinkles nothing's very big at all but pretty much all of them have a streak once I flip it over and Oh, here's where I decided that edge over there needed to go out a tiny bit more. And the little branch that I'm using is not one I showed. It's actually a Tim Holtz branch. It was left over from another layout and was laying on the shelf. And so I just pulled it over and I'm clipping it apart and tucking it all in. And I'm using it mostly because of the fact that I wanted tiny leaves and they're not very big and I think that's it I think that's the last thing that I do to the layout but uh, yeah it was fun layout it was easy and it is pretty symmetrical but I wanted it just a hair off of symmetrical symmetrical is not my favorite and you probably all noticed that so it's I gave a nod to the original sketch and made it close well hers is a little bit off because she does have those leaves on the right hand side so I did good I did good 
And don't y'all love that tree ring die? Oh, I love that thing. And it's so easy to make it look like a tree ring. And the flowers being three different sizes, I like that too. And yeah, all the greenery, y'all know I love green, so all the greenery. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. And I really appreciate all of you watching my videos and all the wonderful comments you make down there below. And I will be trying to get caught up on them. But have a happy scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. And check out and see what they used on Punched Out Thursday to die for. Bye.